Hi, I'm Photo Fonz, and today I'd like to talk about the wedding that we had over the weekend. It was a beautiful wedding, however, it was very, very hot. We were just, I was soaked. My shirt was just changing colors. And, but anyway, that's another story. But I just want to uh, share with you some of the things that we did on that wedding and also show you some of the equipment that we use as well. First of all, I took along one assistant, Tom, and his primary camera was a Nikon D300, like this one here. And his primary lens, he actually used about three lenses, I believe, uh, 70 to 200 f2.8 uh, as well, the Nikon lens. And then also he used either a Tokina or a Sigma 24 to 70, also a 2.8. And then he also used a Nikon 18 to 200, which is a lens that I also use quite a bit at the uh, at the wedding and of course at the reception quite a bit. So let's talk about the equipment that I used. First of all, my main camera was a Nikon D7000. I love that camera, and I've had it for couple of years I guess and I really the more I use it the more I like it the color out of that camera is just fantastic and I used it with a camera bracket first of all I put the camera onto a um, rotator or a rotating bracket made by just right as you could see here and that also hooks onto another bracket and now the bracket that I have isn't made anymore, but it's very similar to the Just Right bracket, which you can still get. It's a great bracket. Um, they're a great company to deal with, and they also make the uh, well, all different brackets and all different uh, swivel pieces for all different cameras because they may vary. They're all different. But anyway, this is the bracket I used, and on it I had my Nikon. I had a SB800 flash on here. Mostly, I use this flash mostly for bounce light or for a fill. And if I use it for a fill, a lot of times I'll bring it, I'll shoot about, about a 45 degree angle. And if I could bounce, I'll use bounce light. And we also used a reflector, which is 42 inches. And one side is silver and the other side is white. And I use a reflector on all the close-up portraits outdoors and then sometimes indoors by window light as well. To me the reflector is a really important piece of equipment. It works beautifully especially for for outdoor close-up portraits. And I also have a radial slave which I use to set off my second light. And that's very important because the second light gets used quite a bit for as a main light or sometimes as a kicker or sometimes as a backlight. Like sometimes they're dancing the couple is dancing at the reception and I'll have my assistant sort of hold the second light. He'll step back. Let me just show you. Here's the second light that I'm using. It's a quantum Q flash. And of course we have a, this gets hooked to a large battery that we put over our shoulder. Or we also mount this onto a light stand. Mostly at the reception it gets put onto a light stand. It stays there. Except if the assistant, I sometimes need him to take it off the light stand and maybe just move it around and get behind a bride and groom, use it for a backlight. So this is a uh, Quantum and also has a radio slave. So when this, so when my camera fires, which has the radio slave on it, it'll also fire this flash here as well. It's a great thing to have. In fact, I use this actually quite a bit for doing portraits outside as well. And the other piece of equipment I use is the Nikon Coolpix. Now this is an oldie and I just use this for a couple shots actually. I just did a, a couple black and white infrared shots with it. So I'm still using this particular camera. It's great for, for wedding album sizes. I have made these up uh, and sold them as large as 20 by 24. However, that's about the largest I can go because of this is a relatively small file size. But I just use this for, for mostly, well, for only black and white infrared photography. So that's pretty much the equipment that I used. Uh, I did forget to mention my tripod, of course, is the uh, Unilock tripod. Uh, I believe it's made in England. It's a great tripod. It's probably the only tripod I'll ever have to buy. Again, it's so rugged. And it's really sturdy, it's solid, it's a little heavy, but uh, 
because it is heavy, it's going to really support your camera. And I'd rather have it a little bit heavier than it falling over and ruining your equipment. So that's always a possibility. So that's pretty much the equipment that we used on Saturday's wedding. So let's just go over a few of the images and we'll talk about them.